Hi, my name is Katie Brosnan. I'm a registered nurse here in Austin, Texas. And today I'm going to talk about some of the causes of acid reflux. You might also hear this called GERD or gastroesophageal reflux disease. And some of the most common causes of these, uh, of GERD or acid reflux, number one is, um, an, is a weak LES or a lower esophageal sphincter. And what this is, is in our esophagus, we have like a little cap on the top, we call it a sphincter. And it closes the esophagus after we've eaten. But sometimes that weakens and it doesn't completely close. And so the acid will come up from the stomach and, and cause this reflux. Um, another cause is impaired stomach empty, emptying or impaired motility. So it's not fully emptying and then you kind of have the weakened LES on top of this which is allowing that acid to come back through. There's also um, some genetic issues which might have you be predisposed to having muscular or structural abnormalities within your esophagus. That leads you to have a little bit more of the GERD or the acid reflux. A lot of times asthma uh, medications, asthmatics, will have GERD or acid reflux. And this typically is secondary to the medication because it's dilating the airway. It's also having an effect on the esophagus and it's relaxing that sphincter. Sometimes it's from all of the coughing and the pressure in that area. The sphincter is also weakened. And the last one is from NASADs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. When you're using them chronically, it's causing complications within the stomach and the stomach lining that can cause the irritation or the indigestion. So those are just some of the causes of acid reflux.